Harry's magic seeds and dust. Harry really wanted to go to high school, but his father and mother couldn't afford it. Now Harry goes to the forest with his father every day. They forage for dried twigs, bananas, papaya, and other wild fruits to sell at the shopping market. One day, Harry was picking up a branch in the woods when he saw a red object. Oh, like a midget in red. He tried to free his beard, which was caught in the roots of a tree. Harry quickly broke off a small root. Thank you, son. Oh, how I accidentally walked this far. None of my friends came to this area, said the dwarf. Harry smiled at that. Yeah, I'll give you a present. The dwarf opened a small brown bag. Here are two magic seeds, and this bag contains magic dust. The dwarf gave him two peppercorns and a small bag of magic dust. These seeds get bigger when you water them. And if you sprinkle this powder on someone, they will shrink. Sprinkle it again and they will grow back to their original size. Harry thanked him and put away the magic items. Suddenly, a new hope arose in Harry's heart. Hopefully he can continue school with these days. After closing his deal, Harry took a walk around town. Near the flower stand, he overheard two maids talking. She said, I'm going to buy Princess Lily's favorite, white chrysanthemum. Unfortunately, she is depressed all the time and doesn't want to eat, said the first lady. Aunt Betty is really smart. The king's sister hates Princess Lily. She wants to rule the palace. Poor king. The king thinks his daughter is studying abroad. Locked in the castle. I didn't know you were being taken, said the second lady. Harry listened to the end of the conversation between Princess Lily's two maids. I must help Princess Lily, thought Harry. That afternoon, Harry sneaked into the palace grounds. He placed a magic seed near the castle and showed it with the water of the pond. Wow, that seed had grown on the roof of the castle. Harry climbed the magic tree. Then they entered through the castle window on the seventh floor. Princess Lily was trapped on the seventh floor. Princess Lily, the same age as Harry, was very surprised. Harry quickly introduced himself. I want to help you, said Harry. Yes, but how? Princess Lily asked. I'll be here in a week. Just prepare. Go through my magic tree, said Harry. Princess Lily nodded, but Harry was a little worried. He had forgotten his promise. Harry then went downstairs to his house. From that day on, Princess Lily's appetite recovered. He ate so much that the two maids were happy. Aunt Betty heard about the change. He immediately went to the seventh floor. He saw an enchanted tree on the roof of the castle. It's dangerous. This strange tree must be cut down. Once, Aunt Betty thought and ordered some soldiers to cut down the tree. A week later, Harry was back on the palace grounds. He saw the tree gone. So he put another magical seed inside and started watering. Pond. After the tree reached the roof of the castle, Harry climbed up and finally entered Princess Lily's room. The two guards were surprised to see the strange tree growing again. They hurriedly cut it down, and the tree fell. Oops, I can't get down. My tree has been cut down. Again, said Harry, looking out the window. Then the door of Princess Lily's room was opened from the outside. Well, apparently there's a little crook, called Aunt Betty. Two soldiers stepped forward to catch Harry, but Harry had some magic dust ready. He sprinkled Aunt Betty and the two soldiers with magic dust. The three became small like chess pieces. Princess Lily immediately put it in a small bag. Let's go see her father, asked Princess Lily. The king was very surprised to see her daughter. It's not school yet. Are you back already? And why is your face so pale? Asked the king. Princess Lily told what had happened. He took Aunt Betty and her two soldiers out of his pockets. Lily, how long were you locked up? Castle, two months and eleven days, father, replied, Princess Lily. Okay, then Aunt Betty will have to be imprisoned in the castle on the seventh floor for two months and eleven days. Then two soldiers will be transported to guard the desert. Outpost. So dot 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 you and Harry. The king thought for a moment. Harry waited, nervously for the king's words to continue. Both of you should study abroad, continued the king. Harry thanked the king repeatedly, even the dwarves who gave him magic items. All this allowed him to continue his studies.